It's the League Cup final, folks. I'll see you at Wembley. Hello guys and welcome to Dreaming is Possible here with Chesterfield and yes it's the Carabao Cup final and um, yeah it's us against Arsenal in this one as you can see yes sorry Arsenal fans but Unai Emery is still your boss yeah like you know what I mean he's still in charge um, down there um, as you can see going into this one Arsenal are the favourites which you'd, you'd expect anyway um, form wise not looking good for us we're very inconsistent whereas like they're the very excellent you know what I mean they've like drawn like in the last five and then they've won the, like, the last four games Games, like so um they're going into this in like some decent form but league form it, it doesn't count does it it's a one-off game anything can happen in this like you know we've got to just play our best that's what it, it comes down to players that are missing neil etheridge ollie watkins and ollie clay are all unavailable due to suspensions and cup died um, adam lewis is out with a hip injury still injured and anthony spyro is also out with a broken arm so those people will not be involved as for arsenal they've got a free free players that aren't involved i'm not entirely sure who the these are whether they're going to make a, a big difference to their side but i've not heard of them so i i don't think they're big players anyway that, that so they're going to have um i would imagine their strongest lineup going into this one we've got robert ford as the referee and and um, there's a little bit of drizzle as well here at wembley Right then, let's have a look at the two lineups, shall we? Right then, here are the um, two lineups going into this one. We're going with the 4 2 3 1. So are they. And as you can see, um, yeah, they're going with a pretty strong lineup. Nicholas Pepe going to play up as, as, their, as their striker. Um, you know, Angel Correa, they've signed. They've got James Madison that they've signed. And some players there that I'm sure Arsenal, Undidi as well. They've got some players in there that I'm sure Arsenal fans will be very happy um, to, to be in there. Gwen Zuzi alongside um, Ndidi there. They've got Tini Aki. Um, Nathan Ake, um, um, Harry Sutton, yes, um, is going to be playing alongside him. Hector Bellerin um, also in this, is still at Arsenal. Maurice Nelson is also still there as well. As for us, we got um, Rodolfo um, keeping obviously um, in goal. We got um, Richard White at right back, Bednarak um, and Tisserand um, are two centre backs now. Um, Marsden um, is at left back. We got Drea and Sutton as our two main uh, midfielders. Ben Clay playing as the Cam Garber and Warner out on the wings, and then. It is Connor Chaplin the striking position right yeah uh, I don't know honestly how this is going to go let's find out so here we go with the first highlight as Kieran Tierney throws that one in plays it down the line Reese Nelson has got in behind here there's a great opportunity for them to score but he's hit straight at Rodolfo and that will be a corner for Arsenal I'm sure Pepe will not be happy with that he didn't receive the ball in the box but it's a chance now as Madison fires this one in from the corner Harry Sutton's there Nathan Ake has managed to get there and Arsenal do take the lead after oh it's actually gone in as an own goal um, from um, Tisserand um, so must have come off him as, as he's trying to maybe like challenge here it's played into the box Harry Sutton gets it down and I'm not sure why that's gone as an own goal because Ake's hit it straight at the at the goal and I think it maybe just clipped Tisserand as it's gone, gone. I think that's a bit harsh that it's gone down as a known goal, that one, to be honest. Here goes Arsenal again with um, Hector Bellerin, who no one's challenging him. Why is he moving really, really slowly? What is going on here? Um, why is none of our players going anywhere near him? That was weird. Madison now has made it two, and this is going to be a whitewash, isn't it? Um, uh, I don't know what was happening there. Bellerin was literally just walking along with the ball, and our players just stood there and let him do it. Look, okay, he's just just jogging along here. Um, yeah. Um, what well, I don't know what's going there. It plays it over the top. Madison straight in, and bang, it's in, and just not picking him up at all. Like in, in two nil, and we've only had ten minutes played. Brilliant. <laughs> So, it's a chance for us at last. There we go. Um, as Sutton plays it in, but he's actually been dispossessed, and um, yeah, that didn't last long, did it? So we've got Sutton on our side, Levi Sutton, but um, Vednarak has managed to intercept that ball going forward. Can he find anyone? Is he going to lose it as well? Wyatt now. We just, I don't know what, we're just not even playing our kind of game right now. It's just not finding players. But Warner's in, and there's a chance for Connor Chaplin, but he just couldn't really get his foot around it and, and get much power behind it. But chance again for Arsenal as they put it in, and Harry Sutton's there, and it's cleared off the line by Richard Wyatt. While Correa now turns the corner. He's played this one right way across. Madison's in again, and oof, luckily for us, he couldn't control it. Madison is causing us no end of problems in that first half, um, as 
the half comes to an end. Warner puts it into the box. It would have been nice if we managed to pull one back, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen as Ndidi plays this one right into space, waiting for our keeper to come out. Here he comes, Rodolfo. Here to Richard Wyatt now. Don't lose it. Plays it inside. Bednarek. Here's Garber. Plays it through. Great ball through. Connor Shopping now. Can he get a shot away? Yeah, he's just not getting any much power behind it. He's gone straight to Benitez. So, disappointing first half. Disappointing for the fans and stuff like that. I think there was, there was a bit of hope, wasn't there? There was a dream, you know what I mean, that we thought we could maybe do something. But Arsenal just, within the first 10 minutes, absolutely... Um, yeah, came out of the blocks a lot faster than what we did. And we've had a couple of attempts, but nothing really to write home about. So, tries to G the, the boys up at our time. See if it does anything. I don't think it will, um, to be honest. I think Arsenal just too good for us. So, played out from the back here. Here's Bednarek. Finds Levi Sutton. Here's Richard White now. You get the ball forward. He can. Clay's got in here. Ben Clay plays it forward. Chaplin now. Can we get in again? We're getting a couple of chances here. We're, we're starting to create something. We just need to be a lot more clinical in front of goal when we get these chances as Garber puts this one in. Tisserand has shoved Harry Sutton. Right. Okay. He's obviously having a frustrating game. <laughs> So I made a couple of um, changes. Carey's going to come on for Ben Clay and Appleby's come on for um, Connor Chaplin up front just to see if we can do something creating as Madison puts this one into the box. And, well, there we go. Harry Sutton has now scored and is his first goal of the season as well. And it has to be against us, doesn't it? Like, you know what I mean? So um, final nail in the coffin, I think, um, has now been um, implemented. And I think James Madison has been the massive thorn in our side because... Everything has kind of gone through him. Not only has he scored, but he's kind of set everything up as well in motion. Like so, and it looks like um, Tisserand has now picked up a knee injury as well. So we'll get um, Bucci on as our final substitution. Um, but yeah, nothing's um, going our way um, here. And it's, I suppose it's how, it, how it, you expect it to go, really. I mean, Arsenal should be doing that. And it looks like Marsden's now got himself a red card as he just takes down Saka um, from behind, even though he was on a yellow. So, yeah, that's just completely utterly like killed everything now. So it's just gone from bad to worse, hasn't it? As Madison puts this one in and the two Suttons there going for the same ball, Levi and Harry. Played across to Ndidi, back to Madison, back to Ndidi. Plays this one in, and Reese Nelson, I was going to say he's number four, but no, Rodolfo managed to get there. Tip it around the post. I'm just a little bit disappointed that we've, this kind of showing really, that we've just not got any fight about, and Bellerin's just made it four, and yeah, it's, it's a little bit disappointing, because um, I know we can play better than this, and I just, you know, you feel for the fans, don't you? They've made that the trip, and hope is there like sort of thing and, and this is the kind of performance that our boys have decided to put out and yeah I'm not saying that I'm not taking anything away from Arsenal Arsenal have been much the better side you know um, that's literally showing them lifting the cup but so there we go yeah Carabao Cup is won by Arsenal convincingly four goals to nil and it just things just got off to a really really bad start you know and you never want that you, you want to at least get 15 minutes in at least like you know what I mean but by 10 minutes in and we were already 2-0 down and um, I think that was just the story of the afternoon and yeah, uh, Harry Sutton scores his first career. Just, I uh, was just reading it down here. Harry Sutton scores his first career goal for Arsenal. So not only is it his first goal of the season, but it's his first goal for his new club, and he happens to get it against us. Um, well, there we go. <laughs> just to rub it in. So um, yeah, that is going to be today's episode, guys. Um, I did say it was just going to be the cup final in today's episode, and uh, we've not you've not missed any other games. We've gone straight in um, because obviously the last. Uh, episode that you saw on Friday was the Sheffield Wednesday Crystal Palace you've, like I say you've not missed anything and um, yeah I'm hoping you know messes like the, their heads because it did like kind of after the Manchester United defeat and we, we, we kind of like needed a couple of games to get back on, um, on track we have got Manchester United uh, again um, so even I can't see us winning Man United anywhere. I can see them getting revenge against us. But I'm more concerned now about getting our form back um, in the league so that um, we can get um, automatic promotion. Just to give you an idea of the league table, if you weren't sure where, we, where, where, we, where we're at, I should say, we have got obviously a game in hand. So we can go back to the top because of our goal difference. 
um, but I'm not sure when that game in hand will be actually playing. But anyway, there we go, guys. Um, thank you for so much for tuning in. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid and I'm sorry that um, the boys didn't turn up and it wasn't like an exciting. I was expecting, you know, like a 2 2, like, oh, if we score in the like final minutes or something, and then it goes to penalties or, you know, something like that. But. Yeah, we just got just got played off the park, really. Um, well done to Arsenal. And um, hey, I'm I'm just amazed that we actually got to a final um, at this stage. Like you know, maybe in the future we'll, we'll be back um, and we'll we'll actually lift it because um, we'll be a much better side. But anyway, thank you so much for for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, why not hit that subscribe button and the bell notification as well? That'd be awesome. And um, yeah, one of those would be very much appreciated. Take it easy, guys. I'll catch you in tomorrow.